We are looking at space 158 from the south towards the north and um, trying to sequence the events in um, this space, especially the west wall. So at the moment, last year, we had different interpretations, so this year we're changing it. it uh, we have at least three uh, different events that happened to the west wall. So we have at least three uh, events uh, in the case of the West Wall. Now we know that the original West Wall is made, was made of the red bricks, and it's this wall that had plaster on the inner surface and had plaster apparently on the outside surface as well, or unless this plaster belongs to something else, which we will think about a little later when we get deeper. So that's the original wall of the house. It's interesting that that wall was made of the bricks uh, which were of red clay, reddish, and the, the rest of the bricks in the house, at least uh, on, from on top, which we can see at the moment, uh, seem to be made of a different uh, clay, more brownish clay, uh, more yellowish, sorry, clay, not brownish. So that, that's the original wall, and so the west wall had a, a different appearance right from the beginning. Uh, these features, such as feature 171, which is this bin-like fe feature, were made on that floor. The white um, feature over here was also made of white clean, uh, or clay or plaster was made on the same f on this floor and um, abutting the west wall. So. What happened then is that for some reason, since the west wall probably was giving in, getting damaged, they decided to put another wall along it uh, on the outside of the building. So presumably this whole space on the outside towards the west was either totally open space or was a midden even then and they could easily cut through it and get to the wall from the outside and uh, repair it or shore it up or whatever by adding another wall, which uh, was a typical occurrence in Chatelhuyuk. And it's also interesting that in the case of other walls in this building, we have double walls on all the, the other sides. We didn't have in the beginning a double wall on the western side, or we had it, but it was the wall was damaged and at some point this west wall, later west wall, was put in, as I said, from the outside of the building. So this is the line of that wall, the outside line, and this is the inside line of the bricks of the wall, which was damaged later on, and there, that's why the bricks are not looking so neat and, and straight line and uh, regular shape, as usual. So that was the second uh, occurrence with the west wall and later on for some reason even that wall didn't hold um, completely and started collapsing and the people who lived in this house needed to add yet another yet yet another wall which was a shoring of this west wall by the shoring occurred they they were putting it on top of the original wall so either the, they, they most likely cut the original wall uh, west wall made of red bricks to some extent and on top of that they put this shoring which seemed to have been uh, made in a short time period and quickly uh, in order to keep the wall from uh, collapsing inwards. And that, that is why when we were removing this shoring of the west wall that was made on, on the inside and on top of the original wall, that is why it looked so much as uh, rubble and large fragments of bricks mixed up, uh, including the features such as these here, which were uh, very uh, features made of uh, of the bricks of very um, strong bricks that were originally most likely on top of the west original west wall. They were used for shoring also by being put in the place where they are, and we had a whole line of it. Yeah. The reason we know that the the later west wall that was added from the outside uh, was um, actually oh no stop. The shoring of the west wall uh, was exactly on top of the original west wall, which is this red bricks. 
and also over here further inwards. So it wasn't a uh, very nicely made floor and is assumption our uh, um explanation is that they did not they stopped using this space uh after that. They basically uh or they might have used it slightly but they really mostly used it for uh containing shoring the west wall and containing it from uh, collapsing further in and they probably used the uh, space 86 exclusively at that point. The shoring uh, went all the way to here and uh, we think that the shoring went uh, even further towards the north and we need to excavate this wall in this area to be to show how that happened but the reason we know that this is part of the shoring of the west wall is that the, these the, the the courses of the bricks here are sitting on top of the feature of the northern uh, part of this feature which looks probably this looked the same as the southern part of it roundish and bin like recipient like feature. So these were put in later on and on top of the feature the same way that the shoring was occurred on the rest of this in this space and was put on top of this entire feature. With the, um, I have to make a note that the shoring was not as um, strong as uh, everywhere. Like for instance in this area we were able to cut through it much more easily than in the rest, in the southern area where the shoring was the strongest, they were using the harder materials over there for some reason. Or also the way we know and we are sure that the west, later west wall, so not original, we have original, we have later west wall and then we have the shoring on the wall. So the later west wall uh, collapsed and started moving in. We know that by not just uh, because it's sitting on top to some extent in this area, it's sitting on top of the original wall. The bricks were. Uh, but also because this feature was totally damaged by its movement. Uh, all of these, this is deformed and we ha did have a lot of more of the formation of the edge of this feature. So this uh, west wall moved in and then they put the shoring on top. They sacrificed the whole area of course and all the features in order to contain the west wall from collapsing totally. So they put the shor shoring on top. And that, okay, so the, the um, later, we think that even in this part of the west wall, uh, this was a later addition. Origin last year we didn't think so. We thought that this was uh, part of the very original west wall, but now we know it's not uh, because we can see that it is sitting on top of this feature, so it was added later to the building, even though in plan these bricks seem to be very uh, stable in here and they, they look like a proper wall. And not just that, but uh, the face of this wall was plastered, which is something that did not take place in the rest of uh, the west wall after it was uh, rebuilt, basically, in the later stage. But here they, for some reason, they did, uh, they thought that it was important to plaster these walls. And here we think they continued using this space, actually, after the collapse of the house and they used it as a storage or bin space and we have remains uh, of the bottoms we believe of the bottoms of the bins here or some cash like features so out of all of the uh, 158 space this probably was the only one that was used in the very late stage of the building uh, when 86 space was still being inhabited Shoring up, uh, the shoring, sorry, of uh, the west wall wasn't the only shoring that happened uh, in this space. At the same time, most likely, they needed to shore also the screen wall, which was m must have been uh, affected uh, with with movement and and giving in of the the west wall. So they did the shoring by using exactly the same type of material that we have seen in the case of the shoring of the west wall, which is 
large fragments of plaster, uh, gray uh, bricks made of very um, hard gray material, a lot of rubble, mixed up material was put here in some form as though even in some cases using the bricks, we have elements of bricks here, we have elements of bricks here and mortars in between. So they used all that to pile up on top of what originally was the basically the brick of the of the pillar of this feature originally we had the bricks mortar brick mortar brick that ended up with this roundish top uh, in this case but once this whole collapse occurred they needed to reinforce this as well the screen wall the pillars that were holding the screen wall they did it by adding these bricks and the shoring and they probably extended extended the, this screen wall uh, made it higher up. We see the same situation but in a less, pres at the moment, less preserved state in the case of the sudden pillar of the screen wall where we can see... Okay, so in the case of the, sud the pillar on the south end of the screen wall, we also had uh, courses of brick originally and mortar which later on, which m were much narrower. I mean, the whole uh, pillar was narrower in the beginning, but later on when it was shored, uh, bricks were, uh, and rubble was added to this side of it. And also some of it was on top, but we excavated it last year. Uh, so it's not so obvious as it is in the case of the northern pillar.